Hello everyone, in this video I will explain you how it's possible to use pivot table or pivot functionality in SQL. You probably know this pivot from the Excel, yes, but uh, in SQL it uh, works a little bit differently, but the idea is the same. So, uh, for demonstrate our example, as usually we create temporary table, table 2, and fill in it uh, with the values. And uh, for the beginning, I will show you in the Excel what we are going to achieve. We have fake data, which we inserted into the table. Out of uh, this uh, data, we are going to get additional columns with the months and amount. Yeah, by simple formulas and as you can see here in example that uh, we have July, August and uh, September I color it uh, by different colors in order to show you how they moved or converted to the pivot and uh, after pivot function usage will be possible to get such table where July 7 months will come to the header August 8 months come to the header as well and some of the amount will come below in the rows and uh, as well uh, will be possible to make a sum of all those three columns Let's move on uh, to our SQL example. As I told before, at the beginning we create a temporary table, table 2. At the end we will drop this table. Then we fill in this table with a fake data. And then we are starting to prepare pivot. In the first example, we will make a pivot where months we will place in the columns and inside the table we will calculate the total amount per month. In order to do that we need to create a pivot in the SQL. Uh, pivot creation consists of three parts. First part is general query definition then definition of uh, how pivot should be calculated and uh, at the end we should define what we gonna to show in the result so regarding the first step we extract months and amount quantity and price multiplication from table 2 we do the simple query and name it like source table. You see it over here. Then, based on this small query, we create a pivot command where we do the following. We defined the aggregation function. In our case, it will be the sum, sum of amount. Amount should come from the subquery right here you see amount in subquery amount in pivot definition then we define that this amount should be splitted by months this month dt coming from here as you see and then we need to define in the brackets the values which we wanted to show in the columns. In our case, it will be 7, 8, and 9, which uh, correspond for July, August, and September. Then, in the final step, we should define what we are going to display in the result. In our case, first column will be fixed column, then is a star it means it will display everything what uh, pivot 
we'll calculate and then we wanted to display the sum of July, August and September and name it as a total. Right now I will click F5, it's executed and we see the first result here. That first uh, column is total months per month, it's fixed. Then we see three columns with the values, yeah, which coming from the pivot creation over here. And uh, finally we have a total. Total is just simple sum of these three columns. Let's move on to the second example. In the second example, we will create a split by customers. Uh, logic the same as before, that in the subquery we defined the way how we extract the data from the tables. In this case, we will extract customers and amount again and name it as a source table. Then we activate pivot function where we will define the first uh, aggregation function amount and then define the way how the data should be split in the pivot. In this case it will be the customer and we wanted to split the data by three customers, customer apple, customer melon and customer orange. And uh, finally, we wanted to display everything in the result. Yeah, I just make a visibility better. In this case, we simply mention here customer apple, customer orange, and here function that we sum all those customers result. And as you can see in the second result, that we got a small table with columns customer apple, melon and orange and uh, below we have a figures how much was sales for these customers and we drop the table at the end. I hope this video was clear enough for you. If uh, something remain unclear you can find uh, all scripts in uh, video description otherwise uh, you can ask question in the comments i hope it was useful for you take care bye bye